everyone, my name is Hannah and I am a nutrition educator for Cornell Cooperative Extension of Jefferson County. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some simple black bean brownies. These are an excellent way to make your special occasion desserts just a little bit healthier because black beans are an excellent source of fiber and protein. So let's go ahead and get started. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So one of my favorite ways to start a recipe is to have all of my ingredients laid out. This helps me because I know that I have all the ingredients that I need and it also helps prevent me from forgetting something as I work through the recipe. So I have all my components laid out here. You'll notice there's not very much. It's a nice simple recipe. I only have one bowl, uh, which is one of my favorite things about recipes is then you have less, less dishes to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my vanilla, my eggs, and my oil into this bowl. So one great trick about eggs is instead of cracking it on the, ed the edge of the bowl, you wanna actually crack it more on a flat surface. This will give you a cleaner break and make it less likely that you get eggshells into your dish. If you do get eggshells into your dish, some great ways to get them out is to get your fingers wet and then pull it out that way. It makes it a lot easier. Or to actually use a piece of the shell, one that doesn't have a lot of cracks in it, so like this edge, and then you can actually go ahead in and scoop it out. I'm just gonna give my hands a quick rinse here because I've got some egg on them and I wanna make sure they're clean as I'm touching things throughout my kitchen. All right, so I have my three eggs added here. Next, I'm gonna add my three tablespoons of oil. So in this case, I'm using canola oil. If you had a vegetable oil, that would also work as well. You just wanna make sure you're not using an oil with a lot of flavor to it. So you want a neutral tasting oil. Um, if you notice like olive oil or peanut oil have very distinct flavors, that will actually bleed through into your recipe. So you want a flavor that will let the cocoa and everything shine through. So the last ingredient I'm gonna need is gonna be my vanilla. The recipe calls for one teaspoon there. Then I'm just gonna use a basic fork, pop all my yolks so that they're easier to blend just by stabbing them a little bit and then just give it a nice good whisk. If you have older kids, this can be a fun part for them to do. All right. So then I've got my cup and three quarters of my black beans. In this case, I use the ones that I had made from dried beans so that I know that there wasn't any sodium or anything on them. If you're using canned beans, just to make sure to give them a good rinse. That will prevent your brownies from being too salty and also reduce your sodium intake which is a great thing because too much sodium has been linked to high blood pressure and heart disease. So reducing it when we can is great. All right, so now I've got my beans added in and I'm just gonna go ahead and start mashing them. If you have a blender or a food processor, you could do all of these steps instead of doing it in a bowl, you could do it in the base of your food processor or your blender, but I'm just gonna do it with a fork. It might take up to five minutes. it kind of all together um, and so there's not any big lumps we're gonna go ahead and add our cocoa powder and our sugar so we got our half cup of lightly packed brown sugar so to get it lightly packed I um, scoop the brown sugar in with a spoon and then lightly press down you can see once it lands out it still kind of holds its shape and then I got my one third a cup of cocoa powder. So I'm actually gonna switch to using my spatula to combine these. So 
Go ahead and just kind of mixing those together, making sure that there's not any big chunks of cocoa powder. You can see now it looks pretty fairly incorporated. It's about the color we would expect brownies to be. If you want to stir in any add-ins at this point, I think walnuts would be great, chocolate chips, whatever your family is a fan of in their brownies, those can be go ahead and be added right now. Once you have added those or skipped them, we're gonna move ahead to the next step. So the next step is we are just gonna be pouring it into our prepared dish. So for this one, I am just using, I have a pie dish here that I lightly took a little bit of oil and just spread it all around in. If you have a square dish, that would work too. Uh, if you don't have any more oil, maybe you used it all up in your brownie mix, you can just use nonstick cooking spray. It's a little bit less messy that way. You just wanna make sure that you'll be able to get your brownies out easily and they won't kind of fall apart as you're trying to remove them from the dish. Go ahead and pour it in. And these really do, all I'm smelling right now is like cocoa and vanilla right now. No hints of bean. Very excited to see how these try out, turn out. I have a few folks in my home who I think I might not tell them that there's any beans in them and see if they can tell. All right, got pretty much all of it out. I never like to let any delicious batter to go to waste. <laughs> so I probably scrape it out a little longer than you need to. But there we go. If it doesn't automatically smooth out, you can kind of smooth it out and make sure that it's pretty much even. Then we're gonna go ahead and take this. We're gonna put it into our preheated oven. And then we're gonna go ahead and bake it out for about 25 to 30 minutes. We'll be able to tell if it's done if we put a toothpick in and it comes out clean. And I'll show you a picture of what that looks like when I check. So go ahead and put these in. So to test if it's done, we'll just use either a toothpick or um, a thin bladed knife and just put it right in the center. If it comes out clean like this, no crumbs attached, that means we are good to go. So we'll just go ahead and let this cool for a couple minutes before we cut into it. 